Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Mage in the Arena. We have six wins so far, just one loss, so if we can just double that, we'll be at 12. Okay, so we got two things to play in turn two, but neither of them are really something. But the thing is, we don't have the coins, we really need something for turn two. I think of these two, I prefer the Unstable Portal and hope we get lucky. Crazed Alchemist doesn't have so much potential as a Paladin. Maybe if it was a Shaman and we would have a chance of facing a Totem early on, but uh, let's keep the Unstable Portal. But I'm kind of hoping to get another 2-drop other than that. Okay, well, we got the Snow Chugger. That works. Nice thing about Unstable Portal is that you can, you can use it to gamble any turn you like, except turn 1, I suppose. So it could also work for turn 3, and we could even get lucky and, and get the, the perfect one. <laughs> Let's the crazed alchemist again. Let's play the snow chugger. And I'm happy if I have a, a free HP minion here because, well, there's a decent chance it's noble sacrifice, even though we seem to be finding more adventures and other kinds of secrets. This is interesting. Now the crazed alchemist could actually be pretty awesome. If it's noble sacrifice, no, no, it's actually good, no matter what it is. But let's try this. And, I mean, of course I would hope to kill it now, but let's see. See? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that works. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so, that's... It's probably Avenge then, alright, but let's play this, and I think we just go for the face here, honestly. It could also be that secret that uh, kills the fourth minion spawn, I still don't remember what that secret is called, but you know what I mean. It's so worth keeping in mind. Blessing of Kings, awesome, alright, let's buff this one up. Um. I'm guessing he didn't really think of that. I think... Yeah, we, we fire blast here, right? And then we played this one, but maybe we should play this one first then. Just to see what, uh, which secret we get, mind games. Nah, not really what I want. Okay, and then I think we just go for the face again. Take him down to 10 life. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Not even sure what he can do here. I guess he could equalize and uh, and then he could get rid of... But, but even then, I mean, we have a fairly good hand here. <laughs> he can kill that. Or maybe he has a peacekeeper for the sea giant or something. But then he would have played it earlier, right? So, unless he just drew it, of course. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> That's so fire. Wait, okay, he actually is alive. <laughs> Barely. Um, so I think we just go for the face, right? And uh, mind games? Nah, let's unstable portal. Let's see what we get here. Not really what I'm looking for, but it's okay because let me just do this. And I guess it is a vent probably, right? That's fine. Let me just go for the face here. Okay. You could also have Cypress with the face to take him down to one, but I'm not too concerned about that. And then, I mean, there is a small chance that he has healing and stuff, but if he doesn't have healing, I don't think he's going to win regardless. Right. Oh. Well, that's a little annoying. I guess now I am going to take him down to one, just so we can take him out next turn. Uh, because I don't really want to play around too much here. Let's do that. And then we will just play this. Kill that. And he can't even attack with that one now. He's one life. He needs healing. He needs taunts. He needs removal. All at once, pretty much. <laughs> well, that's not it. That is not it. Okay. 
let's take him out of his misery. <laughs> With the... No! He buffed it up, I thought he wanted to die to it, but... I guess he just wanted to play his card. Okay, we got up to 7 wins here. Yeah? Let's keep going, and see if we can get even further. Hope so. Uh, I mean, I, I predicted 7 wins, I went for 7 wins when I first made this deck, but as I said, I think the deck is a little better than I first realized. Um, I was just thinking too much of the fact that we didn't really have uh, flame strikes and stuff, but overall the card quality is quite high, as I mean, you can see right here how good a lot of the cards are. Now, which card do we want to start out with? Snow Jogger is quite good versus Paladin if you can get it going, like, you know, just keep pounding them so they can't uh, play their weapon. Of course, Haunted Creep is like one of the best cards in the game for the mana cost, I mean, of course. Hmm, and we don't have to coin. Maybe we should keep a second 2-drop around, just in case that uh, we don't get a free drop. Yeah, that's what I want. I mean, they're both so good for... Two mana, of course, you're not so great at three mana, but it's a lot better than not having anything for turn three. Okay, and that also gives us an option depending on what he plays here. Maybe we change our mind. All right, I mean, see, Snow Chugger is not really gonna. Oh man, wish we had that last turn. But I mean, we can combo it with, um, with a two drop next turn. So now, I'm not really sure. I mean, the Snow Chugger, it's just gonna die to that. But at the same time, then we get rid of that uh, one da random damage. I yeah, let's just go for it. So we can get rid of that before we play any more minions. Whereas if I play the Honic Fever, we can't really get rid of it. And, and then we end up playing that and that next turn. And then he can kill the Snow Chugger anyway. Unless we Fire Blast that next turn, plus run that into it, plus play the Zombie Chow. Which, of course, could have been an option. Well... I'm fine with this. Let's just uh, get these two out here. And hope that a fireball or polymorph becomes useful next turn. Or that we draw something else. Good cards, but not very varied. Like, if you place two small minions, this is not what I want to have. Well, he only has three mana. And that's the thing, right? I don't really want to waste a fireball on something that costs three mana. Well, come on, we need a minion that we can play. Oh, well, at least fire blast has some use here, but obviously this is a pretty weak turn. Not really happy about that. He can't really use this one very effectively though, because I don't think he want to really attack a zombie chow with a free drop. And lose the free drop? Like that doesn't seem very appealing, right? I think we're gonna um, we're gonna fireball here. Because if we play unstable portal and we get something we can't use, I mean or like a cheap one then we get yeah, fireball is the way to go here. Let's fireball that. And then we'll attack the face. And then next turn okay, I mean then we got some options at least. We can do the unstable portal portal first, see if we get something and then fireball, we still have the mana for that if we don't spend any extra mana. Huh. Oh! Oh! Crazed Alchemist. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty useful, right? I mean... Hmm... At first I was thinking like fireball, fire blast, but I think Crazed Alchemist and then trade that into that is, uh, is much stronger. And I guess we'll play the Unstable Portal first and hope we actually get something... Uh, ah, this is... See, this is not not great, right? Because now I'm gonna, gonna, gonna have like a lot of not very useful mana here. But are we gonna kill that, obviously? And then I guess we're just gonna fire blast the face. This is just like one mana more than I would have wanted it to be, unfortunately. Storm and Champion works pretty well with the Haunted Creeper because that's almost ensures we will have something on the board for next turn, for example. Unless he runs that into that and then Consecrate. I mean, it kind of looks like that might be what he wants to do. But then it's like, then we can kill this one with a Fire Blast, which is why he might not be so interested in it. But uh, let's see what he does. Uh, I mean, if he wants to, I mean, honestly, 
I'm pretty sure he has Consecrate now, because, like, why else would he even consider doing that? Right? Well met. Yeah. So that's worth keeping in mind, that he most likely has it, even if he didn't use it here. Hmm. That's a lot of little guys. Alright. It's bad we don't have any AoE. Well, we do have Cone of Cold, which could be useful. <laughs> well, we got that one too. Now, what if we play Stormwind Champion? Then we can, uh... Yeah, then we can get rid of these two. Have a pretty... I think that works out fairly well. So let's do... This. And then we will just take out... That and that. Yeah. If he can't kill this one now... That could be really annoying for him. But let's see. Blessing of Kings? No. Seal of Champions. Oh, and then Consecration. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Not surprised, especially about the Consecration. Alright. Okay, so if we play... Oh yeah, this works fairly well. We do this, that, and then we just Fire Blast that one. Oh, Mage Hero Power is so good. Hmm. Well, looks like we're gonna play two of these cards next turn. So far, so good. And I feel good about having this uh, Polymorph now, just in case he gets some uh, monster. Oh! Too many little guys! Where is our AoE? I wouldn't even mind a Cone of Cold right now. But I like the fact that we get to keep this one around though. Huh, so maybe you just want to fire up. Oh, this one is a good guy killer, actually. Um, let's see. The thing is, if you fire blast, I think I kind of want to fire blast. Because I want to play that, but of course, what then I can only play one other card. Whereas if I don't fire blast, I can play two. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Play. What to do? What to do? I kind of want to get rid of all this. Okay, let's just do this. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I said, ah, there's just so many options there that turn. Like, I could have played the Dwarf and buffed this one up a little bit. But I, I just, I don't like having all these little guys around when I don't have any AoE to deal with it. And whereas uh, big minions I can deal with, but um, like all these small ones, just don't, don't want to, don't want to see them. Well, what are you gonna do? I also kind of want to get rid of that one because that one random damage could be annoying, but eh, probably not that big of a deal. No right. What are you gonna do? Looks like a fairly even game. Well, then he's gonna kill that one, obviously. No surprise there. <laughs> At least we are both thinking a lot. Oh! Oh, right, he could kill it with that one. Oh, does he have a dragon? I guess he does. So we actually get to keep this one around. Hmm. Not that it helps us that much. <sighs> okay. I thought we want to do this. I mean, I think I want a fire blast. Fireball. Maybe play this one so we can kill that. Then we can clear the board. So if we do that, fire blast that. Yeah, let's just clear the board. There we go. That, that. And I don't want to give him a spell yet because it might actually. Like, you know, we're starting to run out of cards here, so. 
I want to give him more options right now. How oh, Acid Drake, such a good card in this situation. Unfortunately. Oh, and another good one. Well, I'm probably gonna end up polymorphing that then. Can't really deal with it right now. Let's play the Spill Slinger. See if we get something. Uh, Starfall. Well, that is AoE. But now AoE is less relevant because we are. Uh, the point in the game we are. Do I wanna hold on to the polymorph then? In case we get something. scarier. I mean, AoE is not really gonna be a concern, is it? Do Starfall. We can also play this. Then that dies to that so easily. But then if we do Polymorph. I think I like Polymorph actually. We might need. Also, because the Snow Chucker doesn't really help us very much here, he just kills it with that. But if we do this, we can also get some damage in here. Yeah, let's just do this. I didn't even kind of consider killing that too. I mean, I know he's he's gonna run that into that, but that's not really too much of a concern because we can just fire blast it. Okay, it looks like we might actually want to. Oh, right, I should consider the fact that uh, he could buff up. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe I do want an AoE here. Which thankfully I can do. Because if we fire blast here, then Star Ball. Kill most of this stuff. Alright, let's do that. And then uh, 2 damage to all enemy minions. And then. I think I'm gonna go for the face again. And then play this. Wow, so close. This really could go right away. Oh no, don't... Okay, well... Ah, I guess that's fine. Anything else? No? Good. Um... Oh, okay. Let's play that, see what we draw. Frost Nova. Mirror Entity Counter Spell. Hmm. Let's take a uh, mirror entity. And then, like, then the risk of him top decking like a big scary minion here is made uh, irrelevant. Uh, but then again, maybe we should. Um, I mean, I want to go for the face with this one. I think. And I guess I kind of want to play this one, but then fire blast that, you know? Yeah, let's do it that way. And then we'll just hold on to Mirror Entity for now. I mean, at this point in the game, it's good to use your hero power every turn, right? Just gotta hope he doesn't draw this scary monster this turn, because then it would be so sad I didn't play Mirror Entity. Okay, so he's down to 13. Well, what could that be? I guess it could be... Entomb. Hmm. Alright. Oh no! Oh, but now he can't actually... Huh. Oh man, that would have been a good one to get. But... but uh, it's... I was like a happy because now he can't... He couldn't actually use his hero power on the turn he played it. But we can't kill it anyway. So I guess that doesn't help us too much. But let's play um, this, that, and then... I think I want to kill that with that. So I think I'll go for the face with this one, and... I think I'm also going for the face with the Fire Blast, actually. Because... He's getting really low, and... I think I'm gonna kill that with this one anyway. So doing one damage to it doesn't really help in that case. Alright, let's start with that. He's down to 10. But also, nah. We should probably get rid of that. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> I 
I want to be sitting on a minion, right? And he doesn't want to play it because of the secret. Oh, nah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Hmm. One of is like a five attack minion. Do it. Just, just play your minion and let us get a copy. I mean, if you wait with playing it, you're just gonna get it next turn. <sighs> right, okay, so... Uh, I could just go for the face. And... Take him down to five, and then I could kill him next turn. But I feel like we just... I feel like we got this game. Like, so I wanna play it really safe. And... So, let's just play it safe. Right, but then I should, uh, of course, fire blast this one first. And then kill... That, play that and I feel like there's very low chance of us losing that this especially with us having mirror entity up also well not the best one to get but not the worst one either I will do two damage to him when he kills it and it also forces him to you know attack it if he wants to get rid of it which I assume he does no he just drew this level now so let's see if he plays this other minion if, and if I was right in the... This yeah, ah, oh, he didn't want to give us that one. That makes sense, right? Because we would have had lethal then <laughs> if he had played that last turn. Of course, um, now we have lethal anyway. So yeah, we're fine. There we go. Ah, doesn't want to let me get the satisfaction of actually killing them. Oh well, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.